The Sarasota Bay Estuary Program is setting out to find the worth of our region's most prized natural asset, the bay. The findings will provide a wide range of organizations with a wealth of knowledge and research. SNN Local News 6 reporter Jim Spiewak has more on how. The Sarasota Bay Estuary Program is conducting a year-long project to find the value of Sarasota Bay. So what criteria goes into finding the value of the widely used body of water? Marine biologist Sandra Gilchrist says there's many factors to include. Like controlling our input of pesticides, any kind of waste, controlling our storm water. Paul Hinesley, a professor of environmental studies at Eckerd College, was hired to lead the project. Both Paul and the estuary program were unavailable for comment, but the question becomes, how do you put a price on the value of the bay? The economic value would be based on biodiversity, on the health of the bay. Uh, we use this watershed in general and what kinds of things we're putting into it, what kinds of things we're taking out like fishing. And keeping and maintaining a healthy and vibrant bay, scientists say they look for what factors they can control. Trying to maintain water quality, um, trying to make sure that uh, storm water is not coming in and causing difficult changes in salinity. Scientists will use the findings of the report to help solidify grants for further research. Help me to either study what's going on there or help me to try to make recommendations on what should be improved. The study is estimated to cost $21,000 over the next 12 months. That was Jim Spiewak reporting. A similar study for the Indian River Lagoon National Estuary Program in 2007 valued that estuary at $3.7 billion.